Hey guys, just a reminder, this is not official medical advice or such. Please seek an appointment with a licensed medical provider. Welcome back to another episode of Explain This. This is part of our guest star series, and we are guest starring Margot Kasturian, our PA in our North Knoxville clinic. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. Long time no see, right? <laughs> it's been two minutes. <laughs> it's been two minutes. Okay, so we're doing another one right here. We wanted to, um, we wanted to talk about a subject that we talk about a lot, but actually talk about a niche part of the subject. So we talk about low dose naltrexone all the time. Uri day. Uri day, I'm talking about. I'm telling you, do you talk about LDN probably every day? Yes, every, definitely every day, multiple times a day. Multiple times a day. Because people are so inflamed. Everyone's inflamed. If you think you're not inflamed, you're inflamed. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but but no, lotus on trexone is such a great silver bullet. It's it's especially as a provider when you're like, I don't know, but most likely this is due to inflammation, and lotus on trexone can help, and it's not contraindicated with anything that you're doing, and people tolerate it well. Why not give it a shot and see what happens? Right. So so LDN is great. Usually, what we do is one to one point five milligrams. Transition up to three milligrams. Transition up to four and a half. Some people have gone up a little bit higher than that. But today we're going to talk about ultra low dose naltrexone. So lower. There's a very low dose naltrexone, ultra low dose naltrexone. Is that correct? Yes. So we call it ULDN. Okay. ULDN. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. ULDN. So so why would patients go down to that? What's, what's the purpose of going even lower than the low dose? So... I would say 99% of the time, patients love LDN and tolerate it well. But there's I'm always that you know rare patient that doesn't like how they feel on LDN. You know, maybe instead of sleeping better, maybe they have insomnia. Uh, maybe they have vivid dreams that they don't enjoy. So if that circumstance arises, then we can cut the dose down to ultra-low dose naltrexone. So we get the same benefits. It takes longer. Um, but you're on a, a a tenth of the starting dose of LDN or even lower. And and that's crazy because it's already low. When you're looking at actual doses of naltrexone, it goes up to 100, 300. 100, yeah. yeah, like it's high. So we're getting fractions of that. And what what's really, I know we've talked about this in LDN before, what's really the purpose of LDN, like of naltrexone in general in such low doses? So it works in a couple of ways. The main reason we're using it for inflamed patients is in low doses, the naltrexone preferentially binds to the immune cells instead of the brain activation. So in higher doses, we use it for a completely different purpose. In low doses, we are increasing the T regulatory cells. Those are our manager immune cells. So they go around and they make sure that there's no inflammation. If they see inflammation, they shut it down. Is it kind of like Wally? Like, you know, in Wally, when that thing goes around and it's like searching? Yes. Do you yes, know what I'm talking about? Yes, kind of like yes. that one? Okay. Those T reg cells are like the Wally. Like the Wallys that are going around and cleaning up everything. Yes, and they're, like, and they're repairing stuff. And they're like, something's off. Yes. Like, something's off. So, this is what now Trexone is doing in low doses. Mm -hmm. And then in ultra low doses, it's for those who might not be able to tolerate the right. LDN. So, I like that because it doesn't get you out of the running. Like, some people are like, oh, I can't tolerate that. It's bad. What's well, like, we can actually compound it. And that's the beauty of compounding yes. drugs is that they can make it. So what are some of the doses? If we're looking at one, 1. 1.5 milligrams as a low dose, mm -hmm. what is an what is very low and UDL? So very low would be around point, point 0.5. Okay. And then ULDL is less than point 0.1. That's crazy. That's yes. like a pinch. Yes. That's like, I call it between a pinch, a sprinkle, a spoonful. <laughs> Right. I like that. So it's we're a getting, pinch. We're getting a pinch. We're not getting a sprinkle and we're not getting a spoonful. But people might be able to tolerate it and work up to those doses, right? Right. The whole purpose is to repair and increase increase the immune system through T regulatory cells to improve immune function. Yes. And so this is anybody that's experiencing some autoimmune system or symptoms, joint pain. Mm -hmm. Brain fog. Brain fog. The, the long hauler COVID inflammation. Long hauler COVID inflammation. So the fatigue associated with that. Okay. Um, the 
like it can improve your thyroid function, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So if you have autoimmunity within other things, with other systems that are specific Mm -hmm. with rheumatoid arthritis. Yes. It also helps with skin inflammation, gut inflammation, you know, inflammation anywhere. And skin inflammation too, to the skin is almost sometimes like a representation of what's happening inside. Mm -hmm. It's like it's the last to get there. Yeah. Um, That's wild. You just don't feel the benefits as quickly. Um, So with LDN or low-dose naltrexone, you can get a partial endorphin. Um, release. Okay. And you don't really get that endorphin release with the very low dose, but it still helps with those manager immune cells. And endorphins are like your feel goods. Yes. And yes. when we're looking at it, it's like, oh, you know, people who exercise have endorphin release and people who have endorphins don't kill their husband <laughs> from Legally Bond. Yes. It's like people... People who have endorphins don't kill their husbands. Yeah. So, yes. So you don't get that, like, big bump of, of a feel good. Right. But you can tolerate it better. Would you suggest that people probably, even if they don't know, they should probably start at low dose and see what they feel and mm-hmm. then transition to ultra if it's a negative experience? Yes, because, again, the majority of our patients do so well on LDN or low dose on Trexone. And that's what I'm feeling too. Most of most patients I'm experiencing like it tolerate it want a little bit higher. I've had two. I've definitely had two that couldn't tolerate it. And so ultra low dose is the way that we win. So you're looking yes. at anywhere from 0.1 to 0.5, still same benefits that we we're looking at beyond that. Yes. This is a good Great. explain this. So that means that you're not out of the running. The whole purpose, integrative health, what we do at performance medicine is that we can tailor things. That's why we use compounder drugs uh, and, and compounding pharmacies to make those drugs. You yes. can make them in different doses, which is so fun. I called an ivermectin yesterday in two weird doses and they could make it which yes. is so great yes so um ultra low dose very low dose two different options from low dose naltrexone a favorite of ours at performance medicine a definite favorite of margo's who specializes within autoimmunity and gut health you heard it here first ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining us on and explain this anything else we need to know about those but i think i think we got i it. think we covered it we covered it too if you want to know more check out more on our videos we got a whole slew of videos on lotus and trexone where you can find those out and of course if you're ever interested in trying this out too for your health and your autoimmunity please give us a buzz yes perfect thank you so much until next time in All two right. minutes from now <laughs> another explain this we'll see you soon see ya Don't go away